Welcome back guys for another ACE special. So today we're going to look at the Samsung device and that frustrating issue that some of us come across which is the FRP lock. Now don't worry today I'll be diving into a quick and easy fix and I'll guide you through what you can do when the ADB fails or when the star hash zero star hash method is no longer applicable on the new models of Samsung. So buckle up, turn up those speakers, and let's go. go, go. Now being a Londoner, you would know exactly what I'm talking about when you go into boss man's shop and asking for a phone to be fixed. Now this can run you from anywhere between 50 to 200 pounds, believe it or not, on some London boroughs, especially the more expensive ones in Kensington or Chelsea, etc. But what are they actually doing once you give them that phone? Let's unpack that. So FRP or factory reset protection is a security feature first designed by Google to protect your device in case it gets lost or stolen. Now that being the case, sometimes you just end up locking yourself out or forgetting your login details of an old phone that you might want to pass on to a sibling or friend or family. Now this is where the FRP bypass tool comes in handy. Now one tool that I've come across and there's so many crap Trojan based, virus based, malware based, crypto bot based softwares of this kind. I can't blame anyone not finding an actual solution for these softwares but I did go down a rabbit hole, installed at least 50 of these wrecked tools on a sandbox environment so you don't need to and found one that actually worked. Now the tool that I used that actually did work for me was called Sam Flash and I'll be leaving a copy of the version and white label version that I'm using and that is virus free in the HD Plus channel for my HD Plus members. Now one of the common problems I faced when trying to bypass FRP is when ADB is enabled and it fails. This happens when the method used to trigger the ADB mode doesn't work no longer. So that star hash method is defunct, which was used in previous bypass techniques, but is no longer effective on the newer firmwares or devices that have come out from Samsung. So let's just lab this up and see what it looks like and how it actually works. All right, now we're back in the lab. We can see we have this Sam Flash application with the hacking time is Signia. Now from here, you have a few options. You have the flasher and you have these utility tools. In the model of phone that I unlocked, which was a previous Samsung model, I think it was an A14, I was able to achieve it through just using the Odin FRP unlock. You can use some of the other features if they're applicable to the model that you might be trying to access. So from here, the first thing you want is to have the phone completely turn off. Then what I want you to do is hold the volume up and down button simultaneously for at least 10 seconds while inserting the USB. So now here we can connect the USB to the VM. Now that's connected. What you want to do is now power on while holding on to the up and down volume buttons, power on the device with another finger. If you can manage it, get your Shiva on. Now, if you've done that successfully, what you should get on the screen is a warning that custom OS has been installed. And that looks a little bit like this. That's fine. This is completely fine and normal is what exactly what we want. Now, once you've got this screen open on the phone, I want you to hit the volume up button to continue. Now, the screen will change once more and it will turn into what looks like a downloading icon on the phone. Again, completely normal in this process. And then what you want to do is simply click this Samsung MTK FRP Odin. Now here, what would happen, it will download the information from the COM pool, as you can see here, and then it will read on all the information of the phone, the vendor, the unique ID, the model number, 
like I said, this is a 14 Samsung. It will erase the data in there and it will wait for the device to come back on. Now in this process of erasing the FPR, and I see in a various posts that this waiting for device deadlocks. From my experience, it depends on the actual cable that you're using and making sure it's connected to the PC at all times. So I'm using this within a VM, so it's gonna connect on and off all the time. But yeah, as you can see here, it took 30 seconds, it erased the FPR, and it took a backup. And the backup's locally stored on the machine that you're working on. And that's it, literally. After that happened, I was able to log into the Samsung phone once again, even though I forgot my credentials. And the phone itself, as we can see now, is back online. And I'm able to use it. And there you have it, guys. First off, I want to send a massive appreciation and shout out to my boy Lord Skeleton Man for being a mod on HT from day dot, as well as Uber Z, the OG himself. Big things are going to start happening in the Hasty channel space. We've also started this AI podcast, which I hope to be quite successful and useful in terms of information coming out on the ethical hacking and hacking arena. Keep up to date on that. And overall, I hope this helped those of you struggling with the ADB enable or fail with that hash zero hash method not working. Now this flash method might not work for all models, it works for the few that I tested here. Just make sure your device is fully charged. Use the method I showed you to get the flasher in order to even get into this mode. And also double check you got the right model selected to avoid any complications. Join HT today, stay safe in the cyberspace, peace out.